Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon X Catching them all where we are trying to get every single Pokemon in the Pokedex Not just from this game but from every other game which is running in a, another series I am the Trunkleton and today we're going to go in this cave <laughs> uh, We have got a lot of Pokemon to catch in this cave to be honest with you Biggest one I want, not necessarily biggest in size, the one I want the most is a Kangaskhan so we're going to go for this. I'm not going to run. Uh, let's go this way. I don't really like the angle of this. I, said, I was thinking about this when I first watched someone play. There's nothing down here. And then I thought that was strange when I was watching a Let's Play with this, when this game first came out. Before I could afford a 3DS. And then when I played it myself on Pokemon Why it's so... I don't know. don't like the angle. Ooh, Cubone. Got to catch this. So many Pokemon in here. So here's our Pikachu, which can't do any damage with its electric attack. So we're just going to quick attack it. So let's see what happens. Not much damage. That's good and bad at the same time because it means Cubone can do some damage to us. And leaving the cave is not something what I really want to do. We're going to have to do it at one point because, yeah, I know what's coming up. I don't want to spoil that for you guys yet. Well, you'll see. Yeah, keep doing that, Cubone, keep doing that. Don't attack me, just keep doing what you're doing. So it's a female Cubone, that's awesome. Let's see if we can catch her. I like Cubone, I like the way it looks. Marowak, not as much. Cubone's just so cute. And you know what? I don't want to know what's underneath the skull. To be totally honest with you. I don't want to know. But what does... You know, it doesn't bother me, but what I think is weird, like Cubone's mother is a Marowak, obviously. And it says in the Pokedex that Cubone wears its mother's skull. But the skull doesn't look like a Marowak skull. Is it the skull underneath a skull, then? Is that what the shape of Marowak's head is underneath the Marowak skull that it was? So, what, what are we going to use? We're going to use a... Let's try a Pokeball. We can't paralyze it because it's um, ground type and the only paralyzed move we have is an electric type move which won't affect it. So let's just hope. Yeah! Victory! Awesome. So let's cross Cubone off the list. Because that's the whole point of this, to catch all the Pokemon. So there's Cubone. I think. I know this might sound strange, but I think a Marowak is, well, a Cubone. I'm going to breed a Cubone. IV breed and an EV train a nice cube bone into Marowak. See it wears the skull of its dead mother on its head. When it becomes lonesome it's said to cry loudly. See what I mean? But if you look at a Marowak its skull doesn't look like that so strange. We're giving it into the cube bone. Nope. Cube bone's been transferred to box free. Awesome. Box free now. Wow. Right. I love the look of these crystals in the wall to be honest with you. Let's keep going, taking it slowly. We're not running into much, to be honest with you. Oh, there's a nice Pokeball there. Awesome. Hardstone. Cool, I don't know what that does. We'll figure that out later on. Okay, let's turn around and keep going. So we haven't taken any damage yet, which is awesome. I kind of don't want to run through this cave. I don't want to... It's too difficult. Right, there's another Pokemon battle. You can see it through that dark patch. So what do we got now? What do we what are we gonna catch now? Please be Kangaskhan. Oh, match up, match up's okay. Should be very common though. We can paralyze this, so let's just choose a thunder shock, because quick attack is not gonna do anything because it's fighting type. Oh nice. We might get Oh that was a decent punch considering we're about ten levels ahead. 11 levels ahead. So let's use a Thunder Wave. Let's paralyze this fool. Awesome. So now he's paralyzed. We're going to use a Great Ball on him, I think. He's got a bit more health than what I would like. Now my problem is, there's so many Pokemon here. I don't know if I have enough Pokeballs. Actually, let's use a normal Pokeball on him and let's hope it doesn't fail. <coughs> Because he is a weaker Pokemon compared to something like an Onix or Kangaskhan. 
Ah, oh, it didn't. It broke out. That's not good. I don't have. Ah, maybe a quick attack. Quick attack is weak against him. Shouldn't do too much damage. We might be able to knock it down a bit. And we killed it. I thought normal attacks against fighting weren't hard, but weak. Guess not. Silly me. Anyway, we can always catch another one. Uh, scary face. What does scary face do? The user fights the target with a scary face. It harshly lowers the speeds. That we don't want to use that. Let's um, keep old moves. It's not a move I particularly want. What does the move mean? Look is what I want. So Pokemon can't escape from battle. Oh, that was a shame about my chop. We still got a long way to go though. We could run into it again, I guess. Uh, this is a place I don't particularly want to end up coming back to to catch Pokemon. It's not very difficult, to be honest with you, but it's out of the way, kinda. You gotta come down that route. Um, we're gonna have to use Quick Attack. Um, it's a Rock Pokemon, so it might be be able to be paralyzed. Oh man, this is gonna be. We're gonna have to do something here. I don't think I can leave now that I'm trapped in this vortex, though. Uh, let's use a thunder shock. See what thunder shock does. Bit more damage, not too bad. Let's do that again. Actually, I find it strange though that that the electric types affect rock. I understand why they don't affect ground because their Pokemon are grounded. But don't kill my Pikachu. Come on, Pikachu. Perfect. We're gonna paralyze it. Um, if Pikachu dies, at least we paralyzed it. Oh, that is one quick Pokemon. Beat our Pikachu out. I'm so sorry, Pikachu. We're gonna use our next Pokemon. Um, <laughs> what do I use? She's War Turtle. We're not gonna attack. We're just gonna throw Pokeballs at it. Well, great balls, I guess. Um, she's a great ball. It's not. I don't really want to use great balls yet. I think it's still too early in the get. Whoa, maybe not. This Pokemon is tough. I don't want to be using my Ultra Ball. That's for Kangaskhan. Let's throw another Pokeball at it. Another great ball then. Hopefully we catch it. This is insane. Two. No! Out at two. This is not fun. I think this cave might be two parts. <laughs> if we're catching all our Pokemon. Because it's taking up some time. I have a feeling though I'm going to have to go back to town. Get some more Pokeballs. Three. No! You evil Sol Rock! Ah! Let's try it one more time. Again, we're just gonna keep going until we run out of great balls, I guess. I wish we had a Dusk Ball. I think we do have a Dusk Ball. I don't wanna use it yet, though. Hmm. Maybe this place would be better to come back once I have the ability to get Dusk Balls. Oh, we got it. It's okay. But that might be a plan. Come back once we got the dusk balls. Water auto grew to level 29. Awesome. We need Pikachu back. That's the thing. Um, Badu grew to level 10. Awesome. Badu learned Stun Spore. Which is great if we can get it up to a decent level to attack these Pokemon. Solar energy is the source of its power, so it's strong during the daytime when it spins its but its body shines. Awesome! When it spins its body shines. We will not give an into the Sol Rock. One of the weirder Pokemon, I think. Um, let's carry on for a little bit. I'm gonna run now. Let's go down this side, and there's a Pokemon right there. Ah, uh, Water Turtle. 
is the problem. He's quite strong. We have to see. Pikachu's quite good. Oh, it's a right horn as well. I want a right horn. I so wish if you can just ride Pokemon around. Um, we will kill this if we use an, a water type move. Let's use Bite. Let's see how much damage Bite does. Oh, not too much. We can use this maybe three times. Hopefully do some decent damage without killing it. I think if we do it one more time, we're going to kill it though. Where's its tail? How can it do tail without a tail? That's insane. <laughs> um, we're going to have to use bite again and hopefully it doesn't kill it. Oh, it didn't. Nice. You keep doing that horn attack. It's okay. That was a critical hit as well. I did a fair amount of damage. Um, we do have it. What's... It won't... What the... Oh, there we go. We do have one Dusk Ball. So that is probably going to go for Kangaskhan, actually. I'm going to use a Pokeball. I only have one Great Ball left. I do wish we could paralyze him. But it would be a waste of time with a Badoo. Because it's just going to kill it. Uh, we're going to have to use another Pokeball. And I think after this fight, I'm going to have to go back and buy some more Great Ball. Whoa! You know, squished. We're going to have to go back and buy some Pokeballs. Also means I can trade another Pokeball for a Dive Ball from that guy. Because it is a day later. Free. Got ya! Right on in a Pokeball. How awesome is that? I think it's only fitting that we get a Rhyhorn because now mom is a, a Rhyhorn racer. But do good to level 11. Awesome. Rhyhorn was added to the Pokedex. Strong, but not too bright. This Pokemon can shatter even a skyscraper with its charging tackles. Okay. Giving it. Nope. I think sometimes the Pokédexes are a bit, they're a bit over the top. The, the Pokédex entries. Oh, Shadow Claw. The one thing I like about this though is the normal items are in a red Pokéball, but the TMs are in, and HMs are in a yellow one. And I wish that was a real Pokéball. It's not just an Ultra Ball because it doesn't have any black on it. We're gonna go a bit farther before I go back and do what is necessary. I get more Pokeballs, heal our Pokemon. We can carry on for now. Let's see what we get here. Onyx! Awesome! Oh yeah, I need to cross off Rhyhorn. And Solrock. Oh, we're going through this list quite quickly. Very enjoyable. Okay, Onyx. Let me bite you. Let's see if we can do the same as with Rhyhorn. Maybe so. The one thing that bothers me is I, I was disappointed when um, Onyx turned into Steelix. I do like Steelix's look. But, uh, Onyx Rage is building. He's going to destroy us now. Boom. Oh no, not too much. If I bite him, I think he might die. I don't want him to die. Stay alive, Onyx. He's alive! Oh, he's rock too. We might not survive that. And that's my phone. Pika Pika. Yeah, that's my uh, notification slash text message tone. It says Pika Pika. Pikachu style. I don't have it too loud. Um, let's try a Pokeball with Onyx. I have to keep my fingers and toes crossed to make sure this happens. But I think he's a bit too strong for a Pokeball. Yeah, look at that. I wish I had Pokemon to uh, paralyze him. Um, I guess I'll use a Great Ball and hope for the best. If it comes down to it, we might have to use an Ultra Ball on this fool. Go on. No, don't do this to me, Onyx. Okay, so I guess if we switch out, something will get hurt. Um, Premier Ball will be a waste of time, because it's a nice looking ball. We can use that on something else. I want to put an Eevee in a Premier Ball. 
female Eevee. Because I think it'll just be cool. Oh, we're not going to catch. I'm going to have to use the Ultra Ball, and I don't want to use the Ultra Ball. The Dust Ball is for Kangas Khan. I'm going to bring up Badu, try and paralyze it, and hope for the best that it doesn't kill the Badu. It's so little, sweet little Badu. It's so, it's so small, it's barely seen. Stun Spore. Don't kill my Badu. No! I'm sorry, Badu. I guess we're gonna have to use something else. Um, let's send out Quilladin. Should be able to handle the attacks. Definitely gonna have to go back after this because half of our team's gone. Um, do you have anything that stones? Needle arm, bite, lead seed, vine whip. No. Let's use the Ultra Ball. I do. I don't want to use it, but it's gotta be done. I want to catch this Onyx. Can't believe he can't be caught in a Pokeball or a Great Ball. One, two, three. Gotcha! Nice. I'm happy now. <laughs> Had to use a freaking Ultra Ball. If I had more Great Balls, that would have been better. But, yeah. I do like the look of the Ultra Ball on this, though. I really do like the look of it. It's looking really good now. It burrows at high speed in search of food. The tunnels... It leaves are used as homes by Diglett. Awesome. So, but why are there no Diglett? What is that bird doing? There's a bird outside squeaking. We will not give anything to Onyx. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Hopefully, I can figure it. Let's see where we are right now. We're at the end of the tunnel. So, I'm going to go back, heal a Pokemon, get some Pokeballs, and I'll meet you back at this exact spot in a moment, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. And I got, what was it, 15 Great Balls or 14 Great Balls and 2 Pokeballs. That's all I could afford. So we're going to go through this part of the cave. Oh, it's back to no a normal-ish view. Uh-oh. This is why I wanted to heal our Pokemon. We had like half a team left. What's this? What are you doing, guy? Well, well, what do we have here? A noisy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up. We're a fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Fleur. I mean, that's a play on two things. It's like a stylish Fleur and a Fleur as in flame. Team Fleur's goal is to make it so that we're the only ones who are happy. Okay. We don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know you're not not to play with fire? No, let's just say no. Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't the stylish way to do things, but if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Get him, hound door. Oh, okay. I think we're going to have to switch to War Turtle if he's got a hound door. Which makes, which would make sense. It's a cool looking Pokemon. It looks really awesome in this game. Right, okay, so Pokemon. Go Water Turtle! Let's beat this fool. Okay, I think I should just. That should be better. Oh my! Mm. Right, okay. This is the way it's gonna be. Let's use Headbutt. Maybe he'll roar us out again. I don't wanna keep doing that. Oh, that worked. That's perfectly fine. Litlio grew a level. Awesome! Okay. Pikachu, War Turtle, no one else grew a level. Zubat, will I switch Pokemon? Yes, I will. We're going to switch out to Pikachu, because Pikachu's awesome. And we're going to zap this guy, using my favorite move. But I don't really want to hurt Zubat, Zubats are awesome. 
Electric Ball! Oh, thank God Pikachu's quicker than the Zubat. Zubat is quite a quick Pokemon. But he is, like, a lot, a lot of levels lower than us, so... Can't say much about that. Nice. But you grew to level 12? Awesome! Oh, man, I don't want to see your belly button. You may have beaten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. Yay! Chunkleton received 720 for winning. That's awesome. We need money now. Because <laughs> I have none. No money at all. What's this? You're pretty tough. Pokemon trainer for a kid. But watch yourself. I'm not the only member of Team Flare. Okay, guy. Um. Yes, we have to go this way. Is, can I go up through there? No, there's a rock in the way. And that's a rock smash rock down there. Oh, there's a chick here. We're going to take everyone else down so we can do what we want. Okay. You're challenged by Team Flare Grunt. Okay. The ties must be fairly small ties because it doesn't poke out the bottom of the top. So, Goplin. I mean, Electro Ball should be good enough. It's poison, right? So, it shouldn't. Yeah. It's only poison, I think. We did decent damage. Awesome. Pikachu! I will switch Pokemon. Electro Tyke will. Hmm. Send out Quilladin. I think it's not affected by electric. Let's hope he doesn't have any fire moves. I don't think it's possible, also. <coughs> I wish he had a, a move like roll out where he just turned into a little ball and just roll right over this dude. So let's use, choose Vine Whip. He's quite quick as well. That just killed it in one critical hit. Awesome. Perfect. Good job, Quilladin. Grew to level 27. Awesome. Pikachu grew to level 27 as well. Even more awesome. She fell over. Hey, you weren't supposed to beat me. Yeah. I want to change my eye color to like a gray blue color if it's possible. More to the color of my eyes. A much deeper blue. Is there anything behind here? No. Um, are there no Pokemon here? Whoa. Double battle. Fear Team Fleur. Put the fashion into fear. We're looking for fossils, but discover their kid. Trunkleton. Oh, no. i got to battle with her. There are two members of Team Fleur. Then... Are you ready to team up and battle him? I guess so. I just fought with another one of these Team Flare guys. If you just want to make people in Team Flare happy, why don't you just do that? But if you're going to go around threatening other people, we won't let you get away with it. Okay? Let's defeat these fools. Scraggy and Kroger Gunk. Okay. So we got a fighting Pokemon. I think Scraggy's fighting and a poison Pokemon. So I'm gonna use Electro Ball on Kroger Gunk. Let's hope she just goes for Scraggy with her Esper. I think it's Psychic. Or is it Ghost? I'm not sure. I really these newer Pokemon, I have no idea what they are. Paduku grew to level 13. Awesome! Wants to learn Mega Drain. Oh yes, yeah, so it should be replaced with Mega Drain. Let's use Growth, I think. Oh yeah. Raised attack and special attack, but still. Let's get rid of it. And uh, Mega Drain. That's an awesome move. I think it sucks like half the HP off or something. I don't know. It's in a powerful attack. Okay. Wow, that was super effective against Esper. Let's use Electro Ball on Scraggy. Let's see if that does anything. Well, it's hitting him. That's just a good sign. Oh, did uh, quite a bit of damage. Convert. What does that do? It didn't do a lot of damage. She's using Faint Attack. It's Dark Move. That's why it's hitting Esper. So, 
that doesn't know this doesn't tell me if it's a ghost or a psychic Pokemon. I think it's psychic though. Oh cool. So let's once again we'll use Electro Ball. We are quicker than the Scraggy. Should do some damage. This fight would have been easier if the AI of the girl was better. Akshu grew to level 17. Awesome. I think Akshu's definitely going to be on our team. Go team. Go, go, team Fleur. Oh, I lost. I guess I'll stop cheering now. You've made me so sad. I think I'm going to cry. Trunkleton received 1,600. That's awesome. We need lots of monies. Oh, man. My favorite fashionable team Fleur suit is filthy. If we can restore fossils, we can make some good money. Well, I want to get the fossil, not for money. Do do do, just walk past. Isn't there meant to be Pokemon that drop down from the ceiling here? Yeah, I don't see any. Ooh, Pokeball. And we're at the guy. So, um, what are we going to do? Well, let's talk to this dude. I know what fossil we need to get. Because we already got the other fossil. Did you find him? Why, hello! Here to look for fossils as well? Are you okay? Did Team Flare come here? Team Flare? What's that? A Pokemon? Don't worry about it. It looks like he was completely absorbed in looking for fossils. You two are very lucky. I just found two fossils. They are both ones I already have, so I'll give one to each of you. Do you want the jaw fossil or the sail fossil? I want the sail fossil. We got the jaw fossil before. It's the sail fossil. It shines with all the colors of the rainbow. Is this a fossil you want? Yes, please. Cool. Then I'll take this one. I'll restore your fossils and turn them back into Pokemon at the fossil lab. Hope to see you there. Cool. I guess we're gonna leave now. Well, we went looking for the assistant and we found that suspicious group called Team Flare as well. I guess I should train more so I can travel safely with those Team Flare people running around. In that case, I guess the best thing to do would be to challenge the Silage City Gym. Okay. There's meant to be. Pokemon that dropped down from the ceiling and I'm looking for a dark spot on the ground and I can't find I'm not seeing one yet Guess I'll have to look off camera but Yeah, I don't see one Especially here. I'm gonna run around for a bit and see if I can find one. I'll be back then guys Okay, I found one luckily actually on my way back you see things falling from the ceiling there next to this black spot here that's something gonna fall from the ceiling if we go into that battle. Should be Woobat. Should be. It's a Woobat! Yeah! I want a Woobat. He looks so cool and cute. I have a plush Woobat in a Pokeball. We're gonna use Quick Attack. So. Now I know that this is working. Happened first time you coming back into this cave. It was Sabrina. Being there kind of stopped this from happening, I think. So I'm going to use Quick Attack again. I don't know if I'm going to have a Woobat instead of a Zubat. I don't know yet. But I'll most likely do something. So, it's paralyzed. It's yellow. I'm going to go in my bag. And I'm going to throw a, just a normal Pokeball at it. I think I should be good enough. It's a female as well, so we can breed it. Cool. That's what I want. Actually, come on, catch this, fool. Three. Gotcha! Woo! So happy. So, so happy. Woo! So we got... I know there may be other places to get a Woobat, but I wanted to get it here. Its habitat is dark forest and caves. It emits ultrasonic waves from its nose to learn about its surroundings. It has a heart for nose. It's freaking awesome. 
No, I do not want to give anything into Wubat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the other Pokemon that drops from the ceiling. I think it's Pharaoh Seed. And I'll be back right then, guys. Okay, guys. Last Pokemon battle for today. We're fighting a Pharaoh Seed. And it's Steel, so it's resistant against Electric. So let's see if we can give it a bit of a shock. Not do too much damage. Perfect. Just going to do that a few times and then throw away. Great ball. I'm a bit out of breath, I just came upstairs. I thought it'd take me a lot longer to find this. <laughs> so I was gonna go just about to go downstairs and have a cigarette. The moment I get down the stairs, the thing appears. It's crazy. So running up and down stairs. <laughs> just to find a Pokemon. It shouldn't take too long to get it. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. We need to get its health down quite a bit. One more. One more. Do not kill me. Awesome. So one more from the shock, and we should be able to throw a Pokeball at it. I'm only going to throw a Pokeball. Yes, perfect. It's paralyzed. Low health Pokeball should work. Cool. So Pokeball. Let's use a normal Pokeball. We've got four of them. I want to use these up before I start throwing great balls at stuff. That's for next episode. On the next episode, we are going to be leaving the cave. We're not going to do that this episode. Still got some Pokemon to catch on the way. And I think I have to teach a Pokemon Rock Smash. Because there's a few other Pokemon I need to catch through Rock Smash. Um, but you go to level 14. Awesome. So it states is added to the Pokedex. When threatened, it attacks by shooting a barrage of spikes, which gives it a chance to escape by rolling away. Awesome. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. If you want to watch some more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next episode. Bye-bye.